So this video won't be long. It's just me just expressing why. So I know I had many comments um, that were asking me on other reviews, hey, Bunny, are you going to recap and review Love Country? At the beginning, when I saw the previews and everything, I was like, okay, I'm gonna redo this. It looked promising. Um, I even said I could tell that they're taking this in another direction. I'll look at the first two episodes and then that will decide if I'm gonna do the recaps and the reviews for this series. So after the first episode, I'm like, this looks great, this looks awesome. Second episode, I'm like, okay. And I started to realize that it's not going along with the book, which is not a big deal, right? I mean, there's other series that I've done with uh, Watchmen from HBO that had twists and turns from the original comic, right? Um, which is fine. A lot of people do that. A lot of writers do that. They're, they add their own twist to things. And I just saw that it was had a lot of underlying messaging. For one, giving us this feeling of a lot of adventure, a lot of horror, all of those things in the history of film and cinematic. Um, is not coming from a perspective of seeing characters of color, okay? Um, and I started to feel like, is this a so Scooby Dooby Doo type of thing? And I said, you know what, skirt, skirt, let me just stop because I'm a speed reader. I said, let me go, let me read the book again. And I read the book and I could see how they're intertwining a lot of the plots and a lot of the theories into the series. Also, the writers are doing such a splendiferous job of blending in America's historics into this series. So a lot of book readers, and I, I really don't want to hate to say this, but a lot of white people um, I noticed on YouTube are just like, this is race baiting and they're race baiting the series and how dare they memo to white people. That's how y'all was acting. Okay, uh, ain't nobody making nothing up on how y'all used to act and y'all still doing this now, okay? Not all white people, a lot of white people. So are you upset with looking at history or are you upset at the writing? Now, <laughs> the real core reason about why I have not reviewed this is that I didn't have the mental capacity. Um, Queen Sugar, Green Leaf, any Watchmen, in literally in a row, Handmaid's Tale, um, which is not specifically with, you know, white people, it's the oppression of women and all the stuff that's going on in a time of war, um, which I will be recapping uh, that series. But the real, the real reason why I did not review and recap or I made that decision at that time is because I didn't have the mental capacity with the, just the temperature of, of everything in this country, with our with our, our president, with everything, it just, as a YouTuber, you have to make a decision. What do you have the mental capacity to do, right? We had this, this transition of a lot of things happening, COVID, work, all these other things. So I had to make conscious decisions about I always make sure that the quality uh, is in my reviews. I do my research, I talk about everything. And if you're a follower, you know, if you're subscribed to this channel, you know that I make sure to communicate every single thing when it comes to a series. And I say what's on my mind. I don't mimic what other people are doing. I don't do what other people are doing. I do my thing, which is giving it to you straightforward no sugar sugar coating and everything that i was seeing and and this just the trauma of being black in this country every week again 
I didn't want to see it. And then I'm going to have to dissect histories and what we're looking at. I just didn't have the mental capacity to, to, to do it. I, I just didn't. And a lot of the shows that are coming up that have been pushed back due to COVID, Queen Sugar, Handmaid's Tale, all this other stuff, are a lot of shows that deal with serious issues, serious topics. And all these slave movies and all of these, these, these series about my ancestors in the past and things that they had to, I mean, the civil rights movement was, is in my mother's lifetime. Okay, people? Black people have not been free that long in this country. We have not had equal civil rights in this country before a hot second, okay? And I just wasn't ready. And to the people that keep asking, I have no problem with you asking. Now, if you, you know, with you asking about it, but when the show came on, people were just like, man, she does so many other shows. Why isn't she doing this one? I just didn't have the personal mental capacity to look at that every week. I just didn't. It's, 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 it's draining and sometimes it's frustrating and then you're dealing with the real stuff that's happening in society still to our people. We just had the Brianna case. It's a lot. And then to go and watch stuff like that again and it's 2020 and people's, people's behaviors are still the same. It's a lot emotionally, and there are a lot of reviewers who are doing, who are recapping the show. Um, but if I need to go backwards after I've had a, my brain has had enough time to woo saw and to breathe and with meditation and with some deep thought, I do feel like I can go back and dissect this series like it should be dissected. Um, because I don't think a lot of people are seeing a lot of the cinematic messages and symbolisms and how it correlates with the book. I think a lot of people are just watching this series because everybody else is watching it and they really don't understand what they're watching. I mean, that happened. Um, but I encourage you to look at the Watchmen series that I did review. And then also when I noticed a lot of people didn't watch that, it was just kind of like, well, if they didn't understand that series, how are they going to understand this? But as a YouTuber, I'm learning that you do what you have the capacity to do. You do what you have the time to do. And Lovecraft Country in that moment when it came on, it just wasn't it. Um, there are a lot of new movies that have come on Netflix, but we're going back to the slavery stuff. And where my mind is right now just wasn't having it, wasn't getting it. Um, but stay tuned. There's been this kind of pause on the show and I've just been doing kind of things about hair and beauty and, and, and wellness and, and massaging and learning how to, I've put that on there because those are the things that I've had the capacity to post. And a lot of shows that I wanted to recap have been pushed and the dates have changed. A lot of the shows, the dates are completely messed up. My Star Trek, Picard, everything, Handmaid's Tale, everything is just push, push back. Um, but in the meantime, I will look at other series and other movies to see what is worth me dissecting because y'all know when I go in, I goes in. And I did not want to get on the, uh, the, 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 the YouTube train of pop culture because a lot of people get in that bubble of pop culture. And when you get in that bubble of reporting, reporting certain things that have happened every day, now your channel has turned into something else. And I do diversify the channel by keeping several different playlists and showing you that I have a kaleidoscope of different things that I want to recap. But I just felt like I needed to address this because I've received several messages about this series uh, specifically, so I felt like I had to address it. But those of you who have been rocking with me since day one, I see you. I see who <laughs> subscribes and I see who unsubscribes. I see who, I just see everything, okay? And I take notes of it. And just thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for trusting this channel and me giving good content. Um, a lot of you were just hitting me up in my DM on Instagram when y'all saw that rap video, like, girl, you okay? <laughs> because I have not expressed to that level kind of different things that I was feeling. 
and I just, you know, if it comes out via rap or po or poem, then so be it, and that just will happen. Um, I have a lot more to share with you guys, but I don't have the green light to say anything yet. So if you follow me on Instagram, you have an idea of certain things that I've been doing um, on a personal uh, level. But many of you have said, girl, you need to be a host or girl, you need to act. Please, please be patient and just trust that uh, when the time comes where I can share certain things, I will. But please subscribe. Please look at playlists that are series playlists that 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 are on the show that you can binge watch. Uh, Wu Tang uh, and American Saga was pushed back. A lot of the shows that had new seasons coming up were pushed back. A lot of the shows that I really wanted to review, those things have completely changed. Things that I was supposed to be doing have completely changed due to the pandemic. Um, but I do love you guys. Just stay patient with me. And when I post something, it's going to be uh, something that I feel that deserve that attention that I have the capacity to post. Okay. I love you guys. Please, please follow me on Instagram so you can stay afloat of everything and clues and hints about what's coming up next for the channel. I love you guys. Please, please, please remember to invest in yourself more energy than you put in social media, than you put in work, than you put in your job, whatever you want to call it, than anything else. Because you are the best investment. Because when everything else falls down, it's only you that's left. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. And hey, it is what it is. Peace.